Each week, your votes on EssendonFC.com.au decide the True Value Bomber of the round. The round 15 nominations are... Forward or back, Jake Carlisle proves his versatility with an impressive display up front in difficult circumstances. Carlisle from 52 out, hoists the big ball! Got the first for Bombers! The dynamic duo, Leroy Jetta and Alwyn Davey combine with trademark excitement. I thought he was going the right banana goal, but he saw Alwyn Davey when none of us did. Davey to trim that margin back to 23 points, and he does. And room to run. Jake Melksham takes the Saints on in a night where Bombers' highlights were few and far between. 46 at three-quarter time and now 77 as Melksham goes around the corner and kicks a late one for the Bombers. Congratulations to the weekly winner who correctly selected Jake Carlisle as the round's TVB and is now in the draw for the True Value Solar Energy Package valued at $3,000. Visit the website for full terms and conditions. Welcome to the Colonial Stadium in Melbourne for this historic night. And here's the captain. What a roar for James Hurd. I wonder how he's feeling now as he runs through the banner for the first time, reading the bombers out onto Colonial Stadium. Well, the first game of Colonial Stadium, well, it's uh, some time ago now. But um, look, at, you know, we just come off a really, I guess, disappointing loss in the prelim final uh, in 99. And then uh, obviously the build up to the new, new facility, new stadium at uh, a colonial and uh, you know we we obviously started the season quite well so it was uh, quite exciting early on in the year because uh, you know obviously the Olympics were that year as well so um, you know the season started a month earlier so it was quite hot and balmy and um, you know it was still a, a night to remember that's for sure. Dick Reynolds and, he, and his wife were there so you know to be a part of that and you know I'd never met Dick, uh, Dick before so it was uh, you know great to see that and you hear a lot of stories about his playing days and you know, the, the, what, how much he's contributed to the club. So, you know, to, to witness that as well was something pretty special. Oh, the first goal in that game, geez, you're, you're pushing me there. But uh, I think it might have been Michael Long, I think, and uh, a hand pass from um, John Barnes, I believe. But, uh, yeah, I think that, that was the first goal. Barnes scouting to Long, 40 metres out, close. He's got it. Yeah, look, Hurdy, you know, obviously he'd probably had a disappointing, I guess, previous couple of years, 99, missing with a foot injury. So it was his big comeback to the, to the team. And, and obviously the, the momentum was starting to build in that, you know, early on in that pre-season was uh, something that was quite exciting. And, um, you know, I guess, uh, you know, we needed that, needed that leader out in uh, Colonial Stadium. James, is, uh, he's pretty desperate and uh, he's pretty competitive, James. So he's, there's no way he was going to take uh, more than a couple of minutes to warm into the game. Yeah, look, I didn't have a uh, too bad a game that night, and um, you know, I think I actually managed to get the three three Brownlow mates. So, um, you know, going back and looking on the first goal, I was actually the first player to got uh, three Brownlow votes on that night. Not that I thought I was probably you know, the best player on the ground. I only sort of had the 20 disposal and kicked a couple of goals. It's a great story of persistence, Jason Johnson. We're seeing the benefits of uh, a lot of years' work here, and uh, certainly over the last uh, six weeks. The ground was pretty pretty hard, and it felt like my feet were burning, literally on fire. That's how that's how I guess firm it was, and um, at that time. And uh, yeah, look, I, I haven't got probably the best feet, and uh, throughout my career, I suffered a lot with uh, I guess my, my feet and blisters. But uh, that was probably the start of it. You know, after race three at the races, you got the the, the groundsman out there with the with the stamp stamping the um, dirt that it had lifted. Uh, so it it was a strange evening. Now, I must admit, as a player, I loved playing at the stadium. It was a it was a, it was a ground that I guess suited suited my style of game. It was the size of the oval was a little bit smaller than probably you know the MCG. So I really enjoyed playing on a fast sort of I guess deck like that with you know a lot of lot of contested possession and then a lot of stoppages. And then you know once we got the ball moving, it was uh, pretty free flowing as well. Mead belts it away. Johnson strolls in and kicks another one. The 2012 team looks totally different to, I guess, the 2000 team. We're probably a little bit, uh, I guess, bigger, probably a little bit more experienced, um, but they're certainly probably a little bit more more skilled, if you could say that. And uh, even though we had a quite a skillful side back uh, back in the day, but they, the ball just moves so much more quicker these days. It really did, uh, you know, kickstart our season. Um, you know, the excitement built around, you know, getting some key players back and then the new stadium and then 
obviously, you know, the disappointment of 99 it was something that we were really going to build our, our 2000 season on. Yeah, well, we get uh, one day off a week at Tuesday, so uh, a few of the boys go to uni or study and stuff like that. And uh, me and Carl Hardyham um, come here and work once a week. This has been a Fox Footy production.